Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It is going to be a full face trying new makeup. I have a bunch of new products here to test out. I have some new releases from NARS, including their new Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I've been getting a lot of requests to film with this one. I have a new eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place. I used the Topes palette today. I have the new brow pen from Benefit Cosmetics, the brow micro filling pen. I have a blush from ColourPop. I have a new mascara from Hourglass to show you new lip products from Charlotte Tilbury. So we definitely have a lot to get through. I am also going to be doing a check-in at the end so you can see how everything held up on my face, including that new NARS foundation and also how it held up in the near 100 degree heat in Iowa and also in a mask as I run my errands. So if you wanna see how I got this look and my first thoughts on these products, why don't we go ahead and get started? Hello. Okay, jumping into it, I'm gonna start off with my complexion because I really wanna use these new products from NARS. I've been getting asked a lot of questions about this foundation, so I'm going to be doing a first impression here today and letting you know my thoughts. So NARS is coming out with the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. So this is a new release. They have come out with the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is the concealer that's more in the pot, and a lot of people really like this. I had gone back and forth on purchasing this concealer so many times because I just hear a lot of people speaking really highly of it. So when this came in the PR package with the foundation, I was like, score. I was really excited about that. So I am going to be trying both of these. I asked on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see. A lot of people said a full trying new makeup video. These don't always get the best views. I stopped doing them for a while because they just don't always get the most amount of views. So that kind of tells me that people aren't really interested in seeing this. So if you like these style of videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up or leave a comment, something to engage because that always does help push the video out more. If you're not subscribed yet, I hope that you will. I have something special coming very soon for my 100K, for hitting 100K. So make sure you are subscribed if you are not. Uh, but that is what I'm going to jump into first. So I did already put my primer down. I used the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I mentioned this in my latest Shot My Stash video that I decided to choose that one because it is a really gripping foundation and it's nice if I'm going to be going somewhere where I'm going to be wearing a mask for a while but I also still want makeup on. I try to avoid makeup if I'm going to be wearing a mask but if I'm doing something where then I'm going to see people and I want a mask on or I want makeup on then I want something that's really going to grip on to my foundation. I do have some errands to run today and I know a lot of you also requested wearing it with a mask to see how it held up. So uh, I'm going to try to do a check-in at the end of the night. It's already one o'clock so I'm not sure how long it it really will be but I'll definitely plan to do a check-in and so you can see what it looks like after wearing a mask and with the milk hydro grip I like to let it sink in for a while before I start but I did also just want to say two quick things uh, one I have seasonal allergies and they are terrible right now if you can hear it in my voice or yeah they're just really bad I get an allergy injection twice a year to help with them and I'm not getting my injection until next week so until then I will be over here just struggling. And two, I am filming this on Monday and if you follow me on uh, other platforms or if you saw my YouTube community tab, you will know that my dog Aries got bit by another dog this weekend and um, it was a really horrible time. I'm really not going to talk much about it because I know that I will cry the entire time, but if you notice that like my eyes are puffy or I seem to not be in a great place, it's because that is still uh, really weighing heavily on my mind. So just wanted to mention those two things so you know, don't make fun of my voice, don't make fun of my puffy eyes and also I don't know if you can see it but I really wanted to bust out one of my Vishla shirts because I have several if you can see I got my Vishla shirt on today a subscriber sent me this a while ago and it's one of my favorite shirts because it has a Vishla on it and that is the breed that my dog is so just wanted to mention those two things um, but to start off with the NARS soft matte complete foundation so I am choosing the shade Santa Fe which is medium two and they sent me three different shades I felt like this one was going to be the best one for me I'm also going to use a sponge with this this one is from makeup eraser they just came out with the sponge with the little tool where you can like put it in your washing machine it's pretty crazy and I do like the sponge it's nice and soft so I'm gonna give this a try because this is supposed to be a little bit more full coverage so I figured I would like it with a sponge versus a brush though I have been using a lot of brushes recently with my foundation but that's because I've been using some lighter coverage ones so I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze a little out here onto my sponge so it has a squeezy tube the one thing I will say though was when I was looking at um, swatching this to pick my shade it's kind of messy like when I opened up the lid there was already some foundation spilling out and I was like I hey. 
what 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 happened here so that one was not so great and then i'm gonna read just a little bit from the sephora site this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation that gives skin a natural looking matte finish for up to 16 hours I've seen people saying some really good things about it. I've seen a couple videos pop up on YouTube with people trying it and it seems so far the, the feedback has been pretty positive. I really love the NARS Natural Long Wear Radiant Foundation. I probably said that in the wrong order, but I really, really like that foundation. It's been a favorite of mine since I tried it when it first came out. So I'm really curious to give this one a shot and also the concealer. First thoughts with shade matching is I actually feel like it looks pretty pretty good on me. I do have some redness on my skin. My nose definitely has a lot of redness around it because I've been blowing my nose approximately 5,700 times a day. But the redness on my chin is, is not bad. Um, my acne has been pretty under control as of lately. I've been reviewing a lot of skincare products like in my latest uh, Sephora follow-up. I reviewed quite a few skincare products in there that I've been really loving and I feel like my skin is just doing well. I've been eating really well also. I had some really bad mental health days about two, two, three weeks ago. Some really bad mental health days and I also, when that happens, sometimes I tend to not take care of myself the best and I was really eating not great because I just didn't care. <laughs> which sounds really bad, but you know, it was just like, what's the point? Like, what's the point of eating well? What's the point of trying to not, you know, eat a bunch of dairy so my skin doesn't flare up? Like what's the, you know, I just kind of had that mindset and I was eating really bad and just not taking care of myself, but I was happy to move past that, be taking care of myself once again and my skin, my skin thanks me for it. So, okay, this is a close up shot of my face with the foundation on. It was really, really easy to blend out. Sometimes when something is more full coverage, I get a little bit worried, but I feel like it's sitting really well even around my nose where I'm having just a lot of redness and like some dry patches, again, with just blowing my nose so much. I feel like it looks really good. I always like to look like around my eyebrows because sometimes, again, I feel like full coverage can like, like almost like build up in my brows. I don't know, it's weird. My chin is looking good. I feel like it really covered a lot too. These are probably my darkest spots that I have on my face. And I do feel like I need a little bit of concealer there also, definitely. But it really did cover a lot. My skin looks really, really smooth. As of right now, it still feels really lightweight. Definitely curious to see how it feels like throughout the day. So far, that looks pretty nice. It looks like a really natural finish. That's what it says it will be. And I like that. I really like natural. That's definitely my sweet spot. So I'm going to try out the concealer also. So this one is in light 2.5 or creme brulee. And I'm just going to take a little Sigma brush here. This is the uh, 4D HD precision brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit here. Like so. And then just start to tap that out. I'm going to bring it down the side of my nose. And then out here for my eye. I'm gonna bring a little bit onto my eyelid also to act as my primer. Mm. Okay, comparison. So this eye has concealer, this eye doesn't. This eye definitely looks better. <laughs> it just looks brighter, it looks more lifted. It just is, is, is looking nicer on that eye. Uh, so this concealer retails for $30. It's supposed to be a full coverage oil-free concealer that conceals and blurs imperfections with a soft matte natural looking finish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on the other eye. Again, really easy to blend out. Sometimes with concealers in the pot form, they tend not to be my favorite because I find them harder to blend out and I feel like I can get kind of like tuggy on my under eye area, which is something I definitely want to avoid. That skin there is so thin, you really want to be gentle with it. But again, I'm kind of surprised at how full coverage both of these products appear, yet really easy to work with. All right, so concealer is done. I feel like I can see why people are a fan of this also. I'm gonna add a little bit to the redness here and just kind of tap out and see how we do. Okay, I feel like that covered those really well. Wow, okay, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. So far, again, first impressions on both of these, but I have to say, I'm impressed. Liking the coverage, like how easy everything was to use, and I feel like 
this is making for a really nice base. I'm very happy about this. I'm going to powder. I'm going to use my Milk uh, my milk Makeup Loose Powder. That's another one that I like to do for mask makeup to really kind of set everything down. So I'm going to do go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and keep going. All right, so I did my powder. I also added some of my Jouer Bronzer, also from my Shop My Stash Bag, because I don't have a new one. But I want to do my brows before we go on, because I got a new brow pen. Oh, yes. This is the new one from Benefit. This is the Brow Micro Filling Pen. Okay, it's supposed to be like microblading at home. So this retails for $25. It says it's a waterproof, smudge-proof ink pen with a three-prong tip that effortlessly creates micro-fine hair-like strokes. Okay, so Benefit did send this over to me. They sent me the shade Blonde. I have used it once so far. I thought it was okay, but I didn't think it was like great. Felt like I wasn't having the best brow day I've ever had. So let's try it again. So I do always like to spoolie through my brows before I do them. So I just have a little spoolie here with a hair on it. Don't mind that. I'm just going to go ahead and comb them into the shape that I want. I really need to clean up my brows. So let's just not make any comments. It was on my to-do list this weekend, as was a lot of things. Watching my dog get attacked was not on my list of things to do. Okay, going on to this. So I'm going to start like I normally do wood underneath my brow and just create a line there a line there and finish it off okay i feel like this part went well for me the first time i used it but then it was like i just couldn't get it to look super natural looking so i'm just gonna try to fill that in and i almost feel like it it like runs out really quickly like i feel like when i first lay it down it's like boom but then as i keep going I feel like I don't have a ton of product coming out. Okay, as I get to the front, I'm gonna kind of turn it flat and then push up to try to create these hair-like strokes in the front. I don't know, I just, I don't feel like I'm doing this the best. Okay, I feel like that's about the best that I can do. I just wouldn't say I feel like this is my greatest brow day but I can see it being fast to use if I can get a handle on the best way to use it. It might be too light maybe since it's the blonde shade, but honestly, it it's a little bit darker than I expected it to be for blonde. But I don't know, I still, I just feel like it's not 100%. I'd love to know if you guys have grabbed this one and what you think of it, but for me, I just, it's fine. I feel like I can get away with it. You know, but I wouldn't say it's my new favorite yet, but I'll definitely keep trying it. That's kind of my first thoughts on this new Benefit brow pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the other one and we'll keep going. All right, I waited a, a bit to do my other brow because again, I feel like it almost like runs out. So I wanted to put the cap on it, let it sit for a while. Then I went ahead and did my other brow. Again, like I think that they look okay, but I don't know. I'm probably like using it wrong somehow because that's that's just me. The last time I used a new Benefit brow product on camera, whoo child, the comments were very intense about how I used it. So really, really curious to be looking uh, at the comments for that. But also I did one eye off camera and I'm going to be using this new palette from Juvia's Place. This is the Topes palette. So this has six different shades. Juvia's Place did send me, they just came, did send me these. They just came out with three of them. I think the Topes, the Pinks and the Mauves. I was between using the Topes and the Mauves because those are those are what attracted to me the most. But a lot of you asked to do a look with the topes. So that is what I'm doing today. So to get started, now I gotta remember the order I used my brushes because sometimes I tend to forget. But I'm first gonna come in with a Sigma Detailed Diffused Crease Brush. This is the E33. And I'm going to pick up this shade right here. I do really like Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I have quite a few of their palettes. These little mini ones with the six shades, I am a fan of these. The purple one, I think it's called the Violets. That one is really nice. And when I saw these three new ones come out, I was like, oh, okay then. So I'm just taking that first shade and running it along my crease. Then I'm gonna come into the lightest matte using a BK Beauty 201 brush. And I'm going to blend that higher than I did the first shade and just, and just blend that back and forth. 
Then I'm just going to take a smaller pencil brush and grabbing the darkest matte shade. And I'm going to first kind of run it along the lash line, almost like liner, but then line the outer V of my eye and then just kind of build it up in those sections. I've, I'm finding this palette really easy to work with. The mattes are really smooth. The shimmer shade that I worked with I thought was super beautiful also. And the tones of this palette definitely speak to me. It kind of reminds me, it's almost like a little bit of, of like a mix of like my Natasha Denona mini nude and mini glam. It leans more mini glam for me, but, but I'm definitely a fan of these tones. For my shimmer, I used the middle shade. It just, it looked beautiful. I will say that I did need to spray my brush um, because when I used it dry, it just was kind of like little like glittery chunks that came on my eyes. So I would definitely recommend spraying your brush with this to make it more foiled and to have it have a little bit more impact. But this like taupe shimmery shade is really beautiful once you do that. I'm just gonna add that all over the lid. And once you do that, I mean, it's just, it's so easy to apply. Like it takes no time and that's beautiful. And then I just come around, then I just come around. Okay, Samantha. Then I just come back and I add in any more shades. So I just want it to darken and blend a little bit of the outer part of my eye again. And then also coming in with that larger blending brush and the lightest matte shade. And just making sure everything is nice and blended. All right, I added some brown liner to my waterline. I used Bonus that I have from my Shop My Sash bag. And then for my lower lash line on a pencil brush, I'm just gonna grab these two darker mattes and then start to smoke out. And then I'm gonna start to smoke out the lower lash line. Using a smaller pencil brush and the first shimmer, that's what I'm gonna put as an inner corner highlight and also and also my brow bone highlight. For my mascara in my most recent Sephora haul, I hauled this new one from Hourglass. This is the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I've worn this a couple times now, but I've never done it in a YouTube video yet, so I thought I would include it today. I'm really impressed with this one. I like the wand, just looks pretty standard, but like I feel like my lashes look really good with this one. All right, so I did two coats of the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara, and again, I am a fan of this one. I feel like it makes my lashes just longer and fuller and hopefully this piece of hair also agrees that it really likes how this mascara is turning out yeah i think it does yeah that's the vibe i'm getting so so far big fan of this mascara very little like smudging transfer any of that i do want to wear it though more like i said i'm going to be running some errands today and being outside in the heat and everything it's like near 100 degrees outside today so that's kind of wild so again i'll have a check-in at the end of the video and we can see how the mascara is holding up in this crazy heat also but eyes are done i'm really liking this palette from juvia's place this was my first look with the topes palette but i feel like i'm gonna get on with this palette it was really easy to work with and i'm really liking this look so just have a few more products left to go and we will be done mm. all right going back to the face for my blush i really wanted to try one of these from the ColourPop and candyland color because I thought all of these blushes looked really fun. I'm trying to see like which blush would maybe work best with this look. I think maybe the one Gummy More. Gummy More? Yeah. This looks fun. So they're all kind of like that tie-dye style of blush. These are the Super Shock Cheeks. So I'm going to use a duo fiber. These usually work best with the Super Shocks. This is from Sigma. This is the F53 Air, the contour blush brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and swirl that on and then pat onto my cheeks. I do like the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, they smell good. I was like, wait, what is that smell all of a sudden? Mmm, they smell good too. Mmm, making me hungry for candy. And I don't have any candy in the house. That's just sad. It's not a good day. Okay, I'm really liking this blush shade. Ooh, all right, all right. That worked out pretty well. I don't have a new highlighter, so I'm just going to use the Start Inspired Highlighter, the one that I created with Ofra Cosmetics. I feel like I haven't worn this in a while, so I really want it to wear my Start Inspired because, again, this is this has kind of been like my own little makeup therapy session for me today, um, and I'm 
I'm really grateful that I was just able to sit down and just get my mind off of some things and just have fun and play with some new makeup and it was definitely a nice little distraction and kind of feeling like getting back to normal after just such a intense scary weekend so thank you guys for watching this one and supporting it because i know i'm probably not like my usual upbeat self but just want to get back into the swing of things and it's hard for me to just like you know snap my fingers and pretend that all is okay but it was it really was just a nice distraction for me and i've been having a lot of fun going about getting this look so Whew, so thank you. <laughs> All right, and lastly, I just have my lip products. So I got, this isn't like a new, new product. It's new to me though, and I've wanted this one for a while. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Pillow Talk Diamonds. I believe this one is a superstar lip. But I actually tried to buy this a while ago, and I bought the wrong one, because you might know there's a lot of Pillow Talk items from Charlotte Tilbury, and it kind of confused me. And I bought just like the regular Pillow Talk or something. I don't know. I felt like it was Pillow Talk something. I got confused. But it's Pillow Talk diamonds that I really wanted. So yeah, this is, it's supposed to just be like really glossy and have like this like diamond like effect to it. Charlotte sent this over to me. She knew I really wanted it. So thanks Charlotte. Okay, it didn't really go like that. They let me pick out a couple of things from the website when they were having a sale. And this was one that I picked out. So yay but i'm first gonna line my lips i'm gonna use the pillow talk 2 medium lip liner first but i also need to go sharpen it <laughs> all right now i'm gonna go ahead and add pillow talk diamonds on top okay that's actually way more diamondy than i was expecting i'm not really sure why but i was like i don't know if it's gonna be all that sparkly like we'll see it kind of clashes a little bit with the eye look because the eye look is more like taupe silver and then the gloss is a little more on the golden side but that's okay we're just trying new makeup so you know is what it is um i do like the pillow talk 2 medium it's a little bit of a darker pink shade and i think that it looks nice underneath that but I mean, I'm happy because I, I always kind of wonder sometimes, like, is it really going to be all that sparkly and shiny and, and fantastic? Because the promo photos, of course, are super beautiful. I did feel like the promo photos had them leaning more towards, like, a diamond sparkle, though. So I'm actually a little bit surprised that it looks more gold on me. But it's still really pretty. I think this will make a really pretty lip product. Maybe not the best with this eye look, but that's okay because I still think that looks pretty good. So after that, this is the final look for today's trying new makeup. Okay, I have to say that I think today's trying new makeup was pretty darn successful. The new NARS products, I am really quite impressed with off the bat. Still really liking how they are looking. It's been about two hours since I sat down to film. I've taken a few breaks here and there just to like take some breaths and everything. Um, but I'm I'm still really liking the way that it came out. The Juvia's Place palette I think is really beautiful. I'm a big fan of the Hourglass Mascara. The brow product I think is the only one that I'm not really super sure how much I'm loving it yet and all uh the color pop blushes i think those are really fun too the lip product i think everything's looking great again i do want to come back and do a check-in uh tonight after i've run my errands and and all of that so uh stay tuned i'll do a check-in in a bit here hello oh sorry <clears throat> hello welcome to my final check-in wow my allergies have really gotten a lot worse throughout the night so i'm gonna try to get through this check-in quickly because i know my voice is not okay <laughs> And my voice is not okay, but I did want to come back for the channel final check-in. It's about 9.30. I put the foundation on at about, I think it was just after 1 o'clock. So we've had a pretty good wear test. I'm excited to take my makeup off and go to sleep because I'm very tired and my nose is so stuffy. But this is what we are looking like. Let me get close to the camera and show you. I feel like everything has held up so well. My lip product, obviously not doing the best. It was a little bit more of a glossy finish. I wore my mask a bit today, and also I had corn on the cob for dinner. I think it's probably more the corn on the cob that did this to the lips than it was my mask, quite honestly. But for the foundation, which I know is what a lot of you wanted to see this wear test on, honestly, I think it's done so well. I'm really impressed at how well it's held up. There is like a little bit along my chin. Like I would say my chin just looks a little bit like drier, but honestly, not too bad. And I might have like a little bit of lipstick on my chin, but that's fine because I've just been sitting in my house. I will say like it looks like my forehead has gotten 
a little bit oily maybe a little bit right here again i've done no touching up so it makes sense that from like here down this is the area that's more dry um the area that was under my mask but really i mean not bad i think everything looks good i feel like even if i was like out somewhere right now i would want to fix my lip but for like my face makeup holding up really well um even like mascara the hourglass mascara is so so good the other face products i'm really impressed i feel like this was a really successful trying new makeup i feel like mm, no the brows still aren't like super great for me but that's okay everything else i still feel like has been holding up really well throughout these eight eight nine hours here that i've been wearing everything but that's it that's everything that i have to share with you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the check-in at the end let me know if you like this when i do trying new makeup videos uh if you want to see a check-in at the end because as long as i'm not putting up the video the very next day then i can definitely do a check-in okay other than that that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go i'll see you guys in my next video I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs>